When Barrier Cross started back in 2014, it was just a couple of college buddies going over to each other's man caves and writing metal music for fun. Three years later, and we're still in a nerd cave writing music. Playing on a Christian campus, uh, it, it's, it's very different. I mean, people at the Christian school, like playing at a college uh, where you used to be a student at, I mean, yeah, now everybody's different. You don't really know anybody anymore, especially after so many years of not being there. Uh, you know, they, they do say to give uh, credit where it's due, but uh, apart from meeting at MVNU, that's about as far as it goes. Uh, it, they never really backed us on anything like putting together shows or anything like that, Sunfest. Um, and that definitely was because, you know, we didn't fit the, you know, indie hipster praise band persona that was, you know, predominant there. Um, but, you know, you have to look back at those kind of things and realize that uh, even good changes and outcomes can come from uh, more negative environments. I think, um, while coming from a Christian campus has its really awesome advantages, um, playing in more public or more open venues also has its huge advantages. It was really disheartening the first few months that we played together because sometimes, you know, kids would walk into where we were playing, hear how loud we were, and then turn right around and walk out the door. So uh, it made our campus shows really frustrating. Playing out in like bars and stuff, I mean, there's very much a di different atmosphere. There, uh, yeah, the people are very different. M many of them are not saved and you never know what you're going to get out of the hat when you talk to them. The Columbus hardcore scenes are really kind of really diverse. There's a lot of different types of, you know, like, not even, it stems from hardcore, but it's a little more like there's a lot of different diverse bands. Like there's like youth crew hardcore bands, and there's like even black metal bands, and pretty much anything in between there. Even starting from like just being in a metalcore band and playing just some shows here and there, getting to know people in the hardcore scene and then coming up in the hardcore scene through Columbus and then eventually branching out into, you know, being in more of a widespread scene even throughout the, the whole country. Um, Columbus, it really, I gotta thank Columbus Hardcore for pretty much getting me into that, that realm of, of music and, and just friends in general. If our goal as a band is to try and reach people and show them that God loves them and that people care about them through a scene or just um, giving them an opportunity to meet us, for us to meet them and just be honored, be honored to have their presence. Um, I think a lot of people would not come to a show at a Christian college like they would go to a show at a bar. As sketchy as majority of the bars we've played at, um, we definitely have had a much better response at those for the most part. So I think just as uh, Jesus says, it is the sick who need the doctor, not the, um, not the healthy. It stresses me out so much uh, standing in front of people with a microphone due to social anxiety, but we not only have a chance to share uh, the gospel, but even change some people's negative perspectives uh, on Christians. That's really a key thing that I emphasize. Uh, no one in this band is uh, better than anyone in any of our shows. Uh, you know, we have flaws and issues that we constantly are dealing with. And not to rip on worship bands because they definitely, you know, have their merits where they're needed, but I feel like life struggles are very often swept under the rug in those situations, and we aren't ones to just shove religion down people's throats at shows. In the past five to ten years I've really struggled with, uh, aspects of my faith, depression, suicidal thoughts, and even in, you know, the last year with writing our new record, 
uh, after seven and a half years of battling cancer, my dad passed away. Um, so there's definitely a lot of very deep and dark real life struggles that, you know, influence uh, my writing lyrically. Learning the old stuff was a little bit of a process just trying to figure out every all the riffs and how to make them you know play them all continuously and everything um, and then writing the new stuff it was like coming up with something different than what you're already playing but trying not to be too distant from it so the difference is I noticed in you know, bigger across the writing process from the EP to the full length to the stuff where I, there's stuff there writing now. Um, from before I was in the band and then till the full length and the, the stuff we are currently working on. Um, just a lot of maturity, a lot of growth in the, in the songwriting, and uh, just realistically, uh, just a lot more diversity in you know the way. You, that the music gets written and you know some of the some of the aspects of genre blending that you guys put in there too. So there's not a lot of there's not a lot of the same elements in the same songs and it it gets really it's really refreshing to hear that, especially coming from the first EP to now is is really looking promising. As far as writing goes for this new EP, I feel that the way we started writing and the way that uh, we have available to us to write now um, will naturally have a better product than the first couple of releases that we had. I think um, we are all proud of the music that we put out in the past, but they're all just being artists. We want to try and make the best product uh, that we can, and we want to do something that speaks to what we want to speak, have it speak to. I think it's important to remember where you came from and who you are, and trying to make sure that you don't lose sight of those things. But I think this is starting to veer a lot more away from what it was, and I think it's going in a much better direction than what we used to be doing. Our debut record wasn't bad, but, you know, it really was myself and our former bassist writing songs and just compiling them, so when you listen to that, um, and even bits and pieces of our full length we put out in 2017, you can definitely tell who wrote what. I'm really excited for the new release just to have a new release. I think it's been so long since we've put out music, at least it seems that way to me, I don't know if anyone listening feels the same way, um, but just to be able to continually put out music and have people um, respond, positively or negatively, just have people listen to it and then give their thoughts is something I really value. Um, so just the opportunity to have that happen again is something I'm really excited about. Each person in this band has stretched themselves and has pushed themselves past where they were before. I know I've had to figure out how to do, how to do certain things when playing in 3-4 time for a song and how to keep that consistent. Now I'm playing it and it's coming out very naturally and, it's, and it's, it makes sense. And I know with Jeremiah, he's really, he's pushing himself. He really is pushing himself. He's trying to, you know, find his moments where he can really, like, push the, push the envelope of his skill and trying to find those moments where he can play out more. But then he's trying to dial in on when is it time for me to dial it back and just let the power of what is happening right here just be because sometimes less is more. I firmly believe that adding Jordan to our lineup after having him work on our full length was probably one of the better career decisions that we made. Um, he's really pushed us uh, individually and as a group in the direction that we've been wanting to go for a while. Bass isn't really like his major thing that he was ever really into, but he plays it and 
he's been very helpful in the writing process. He's like, here, try this. This is gonna sound really sick, dude. And it just, and it fits, and it worked. But everybody's really stepping it up a lot. Like, Mike's stage uh, presence has, like, really gotten so good. And I know for me, every single time I step out on that stage, or step out in front of everybody, like, how much more can I be expressive? Even if I mess up some of the riffs, it doesn't matter. As long as my performance is doing well and everybody is enjoying it and they can see that I've been genuine about it, that's really what matters to me. And, is, and that's really what I want to see, what hope everybody gets out of it, is that this is genuine. This recording is very genuine. Thanks to the creative process of being pushed in this new direction, it opens up a window of honesty not only as a cohesive unit with our music, but new avenues writing lyrically. He's stretching himself vocally. He's trying to reach new points in the guttural range and trying to be more about the screams and trying to get even better at it and hone in on it and allow the his voice to help add that extra bit of punch right where it's needed. You know, in the past I'd write very metaphorically with my lyrics, not that they weren't honest, but this new record is a lot more, you know, transparent, genuine slap to the face styled writing um, just based off of you know paralleling things with uh, going through a death in my family I definitely feel like the timing of that definitely wasn't any sort of coincidence because in those years and even months and days leading up to those events happening I experienced things in the Christian community that should not have happened um, I had multiple fallouts with people that I went to college with just due to this stigma of an over-preached sense of community. This new release I'm really excited is something that I feel I've put myself into more in my own parts and I can be really proud of. Um, so I'm excited to see how that response from people correlates with that proud product that I'm putting out as opposed to something in the past where it was still a proud product but a little bit different feel on it. So I'm excited to see how people respond to that. The things I'm excited for for the future of Bear Cross is um, hopefully 2018 we'll see the the um, year of playing out of state and you know even you know more out of just city area and getting more uh, you know southern areas and stuff. So. And then, obviously, a new EP, new material, new merch, all this stuff. Just kind of a, a refreshing take on what Barrier Cross is. It was definitely uh, a bit tedious writing, and I am definitely anticipating some people to kind of, you know, not be too sure about how they feel about it, but I definitely think it's writing that's very well needed. And, you know, with this new record, it's not about selling all of our merch, and it's not about having every single person at one of our shows to line up outside of church on Sunday morning. But it's about establishing those new relationships with people that either haven't heard the gospel or are totally against the idea of it. Because by being genuine and transparent about our struggles and what we deal with, it makes it a whole lot easier for people to open up and relate to that. And at the same time, you can plant that small seed of the gospel in someone um, to really get them to start thinking um, about where they're at in life. It really boils down to the fact that this band is at one of our first major crossroads of whether we're going to go big with this or we're going to go home with it.